Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered why successful people tend to wear the same outfits over and over again? It's quite simply because people who have a tight schedule and a busy everyday life don't have the cognitive energy or time for that matter to worry about what to wear every day. So to them, the most important thing is simply to be able to do their job in the best possible way. And I can't help but think, don't we all want it to be that way? Don't we all want to be able to show up as the best possible version of ourselves so that we can feel stylish and feel confident for sure, but also just be more present in what matters in life. And this is exactly where outfit repeating can be life-changing for you. And it can be done without compromising with having fun with your wardrobe and style. So today I wanted to share some inspiration on how to really commit to your wardrobe and not get bored with your wardrobe so you can recreate your favorite outfits over and over again. First of all, it is so important to have a versatile wardrobe. This will make it a lot easier for you to create nice outfits every single day without feeling stressed out and overwhelmed. If you have too many what I like to call jokers within your wardrobe, too many trendy, standalone, fun kind of items, chances are that you will find it very hard to get dressed every single day it would be kind of like a struggle and you really have to use a lot of energy to figure out how to style these pieces. So this will leave you with a feeling of having nothing to wear when that is not the case at all. So make sure that the items you have in your wardrobe can pretty much all be worn together and not necessarily every single item in your wardrobe. You can have a few jokers or these like standalone items that are a bit more fun. Just make sure that they don't take over the majority of your wardrobe. So I would say a balance of like 90-10 is probably what you could try going for. The great thing about having a few jokers within your wardrobe is of course that they can add a bit more character to your style, but again, just make sure that there are not too many of these. To mention an example from my own wardrobe, I have a pair of knee boots in my autumn capsule wardrobe. And I only tend to wear these kinds of boots with skinny jeans and preferably dark skinny jeans like dark blue or black skinny jeans. So this means that I have a limited amount of options when it comes to styling these kinds of boots with bottoms, for my style anyway. I know there are many other ways that you could possibly wear them, but that's just how I would personally wear them. So even though I kind of have a limited amount of style options for these boots or how I would wear them personally anyway, um, I still have a lot of tops and jackets I can style this base with, if you will. So in that way, I can still create a lot of different kinds of outfits, even though the bottom part of my outfit pretty much stays the same all the time. So when we speak about fashion, it is often related to change. Fashion is dynamic, it's creative, and it changes a lot. But being able to create dynamic outfits is not necessarily equal to buying a lot of new clothes all the time. Seen from an ethical and sustainable perspective, slowing down our consumption is something that we should all work on doing sooner than later. Now, committing to a wardrobe 100% through your entire life is probably pretty unrealistic. Your style tends to evolve with you through different phases of your life. So maybe you get a new job, maybe you move to another city, maybe you become a parent, maybe your body changes. There can be a lot of things that will have an impact on your style and whatever you have in your wardrobe. So even if you feel like you've nailed your own true style five years ago, it might look a bit different today. So it's all about finding a balance between who you are and the person you want to be. But there is a huge difference between evolving your style mindfully consciously and then just shopping a lot of new things without any purpose. So there are a handful of ways in which you can be a much more conscious consumer and be a lot more mindful about what you buy. You can go secondhand first, for example, that's a principle that I have followed personally for years. You could support ethical and sustainable brands and you could simply try buying less and better. So I've made a shopping flowchart with a bunch of questions you could try asking yourself in a buying situation just to make sure again that you buy less but better and also that you buy something that you will get full wear out of. So this flowchart is actually from lesson two of my online conscious style course in case you'd like to learn a little bit more about that. Personal style is an extension of 
yourself and who you are, your identity. And that's why working with your wardrobe and your style can almost function as sort of like a form of therapy. Fashion can actually function as a vehicle to enhance mental well-being. This is something that's been done research on. I've talked about this briefly before, and this is what we called enclosed cognition. So to ensure that you really get to experience this, it's so important that your wardrobe is aligned with who you are as a person and it's aligned with your lifestyle. But it's also super important that you believe in this, that you believe in your wardrobe and you believe that the clothes you have in your wardrobe have the ability to impact your life in a positive way. So how do you gain more style confidence? Well, it's always best to start from wherever you are and then build on top of that. So in case you are starting completely from scratch, go check out this video right here all about how to find your current style and how to sort of align your style with your current lifestyle because that will really help you get a good start. This is something I've mentioned many times on my channel before, but a way that I like to seek out inspiration for new fresh outfit combinations without shopping is to either pin outfits on my Pinterest profile or save outfits from inspiring people on my Instagram. So I make sure to follow people who I sort of align with style-wise and I make sure to only follow people that don't make me feel less of myself or that constantly make me feel like I'm missing something in my wardrobe. Often it's only little tweaks that make a huge difference for me, like choosing another pair of shoes and I would normally have go gone forth in a specific kind of outfit. So this is a great way to shop your own wardrobe to be creative and create some of that dynamic um, that evolves around fashion. So while I do believe that it can be amazing to recreate outfits by gathering up inspiration and create new fresh outfit combinations like this without shopping, it can also be super liberating to just completely wear the same outfits over and over again, like not even changing up anything because you just feel like this is an outfit that works for me, I love it, I want to keep wearing it over and over again. This is where the true life-changing experience of outfit repeating and really the joy of missing out, which is the opposite of the fear of missing out, um, this is where it'll have a huge impact on your life. And I think this is really where you'll be able to relax more and be able to be more present in the important things in life. And I think if you have a wardrobe full of items that you feel this way about, items that you want to wear over and over again, that's really where the magic happens. So you'll still feel well-dressed, you'll still feel stylish, but just more present and you'll worry less about what you wear. Last but not least, I just quickly wanted to mention the importance of wardrobe care because obviously elongating the life of your favorite clothes is super important, especially if you want to wear these items and these outfits over and over again. So naturally your clothes will get some visible signs of wear, but it's really about shifting your mindset from seeing these as blemishes to see them more as character. I've said this many times before, but to me there's a fine line between something being worn out and something just simply being worn. So our obsession with newness means that tons of clothing are being discarded every single year. Clothing that probably still has a lot of life left in it, but just haven't been taken care of in the proper way. So with the right care, you can definitely elongate the life of your clothing, but it's also important for me to stress the fact that they will not keep looking completely new, but they'll definitely look newer, they will look in their best condition, and they will look worn instead of worn out. So I recently uploaded a video all about how to keep your wardrobe uncluttered and inspiring. And in that video, I share my personal go-to wardrobe care essentials. So in case you want to dive deeper into that, I'll link the video for you right here. So there you have it guys, my thoughts on how to become a true outfit repeater. I really hope this video gave you tons of inspiration and lots of food for thought. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. I would love to have you around. With that, thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me here today. I really appreciate it. Take care and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.